Hey guys, it's St. Patrick's Day, and I've got a scooter with a squeak and a flat tire. This isn't going well. Ah, oh, we're getting buzzed. presidential helicopter due in in about the next 10 minutes. The uh, park police is already scouring the area and I think, I think because of St. Patrick's Day, there's something a little special awaiting in the White House fountains. We're going to go check that out. Signal degradation. Best laid plans. You can never really tell what the day is going to be like when you wake up. So yesterday was St. Patrick's Day and I had a little agenda. I was going to take you around, show you some Irish things in Washington, D.C., catch a presidential helicopter landing, just make a general kind of walking in history video like I do most other days with a little bit of news thrown in. But it so happened that on my way down to film at the Irish Embassy in the Irish Ambassador's house, I went past the Vice President's house and I saw a man being arrested. Um, not that abnormal, could have been a traffic stop, could have been a homeless guy, but it was neither. It was actually a major incident. Uh, a man came to Washington DC, quote, to solve his problems with an AR-15 in his car. Uh, a BOLO, a be on the lookout, was issued to all Washington DC police departments to look out for this guy, and they just so happened to find him at the vice president's house exactly at the same moment I was passing on a scooter. We're at the vice president's house and outside there's oh, a whole bunch of DC police. I'm not sure what happened. It's a guy on a bike. They detained a guy on a bike. Jeez, look at all this. Undercovers. So this is the intersection of Massachusetts Avenue and S Street, and we are at Robert Emmett Park, which is a park dedicated to the Irish patriot Robert Emmett, who led the 1803 rebellion against the British, attacking Dublin Castle, and eventually getting put down, and eventually executed. This statue, there's a copy of it in Dublin, I think there might be a copy of it in San Francisco, and this one was presented by the, to the Smithsonian, and is on loan to the Department of the Interior, who have it here in this park, just down the street from the Irish Embassy. And you can see because it's St. Patty's Day, someone has been out, pay their respects to the Irish Patriot. Hmm. So 2244 S Street Northwest is the house of Frederick Adrian Delano, is known as the Delano House. He was born in Hong Kong, but eventually moved to the United States and became a railway president in the first half of the century. He lived in Washington, D.C., and he served on the Federal Reserve, but he also was part of the National Capital Planning Commission, the guys who oversee the development and buildings in Washington, D.C. In that role, he helped approve and oversee the building of the Pentagon. Now, the name might sound familiar because, you see, he had a sister named Sarah Ann Delano. 
And one day, Sarah Ann Delano was in New York City and was invited to a graduation party for a young man who was finishing his time at Harvard University. That young man's name was Theodore Roosevelt. And a distant cousin of Theodore Roosevelt was at the party as well. His name was James Roosevelt. James met Sarah, they fell in love, they got married, and they had one son, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So this is the house of FDR's uncle. And while FDR was the president, his uncle lived in this house. Now, when he passed away, they sold the house to the Irish government, who turned it into the ambassador's residence for the Irish ambassador. An interesting side note, the designer of this house was a guy named Waddy Butler Wood, and he also designed the Woodrow Wilson House, which is down the street, and the Department of the Interior, along with another of other great grand mansions in the Washington, D.C. area. So we're over here on Sheridan Circle, and as you can see by all the cars, things are pretty busy today here at the Irish Embassy on St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's coming in for Guinness. Now, I believe this house is known as the Kellogg House, and this was owned by the governor of Louisiana, who eventually became a congressman. And then they eventually sold this house in 1949 for $72,000 to the Irish Embassy, who made it their embassy. Irish Embassy is right next to the Romanian Embassy and the Turkish Ambassador. And then there's a plaque out here I've shown you before. This plaque is for the fallen ambassador of Chile, who was assassinated in a car bomb along with an activist aide named Ronnie Moffat and Orlando Lettner were blown up in this circle in a car bomb attack that's pretty much blamed on the Chilean military. Pinochet's men, his intelligence services. Hey, Joel. Joel, how much for the artsy-fartsy thing? I only got $50. Let's make it $350. You're good for it. Hey, Joel. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to HAPS Broadcast and Periscope. We are cutting across downtown Washington, D.C., making our way to the White House on St. Patrick's Day. And there's a few people out today. It's a little bit, a little bit strange to see people out. Hey Mark, how you doing? Welcome to downtown D.C., where we're eh, avoiding the alleys. We're at, where are we, 19th and L, and we've got to get over to 16th and H. We're 16th Pennsylvania, but that's closed. Hey, Oliver. Well, some helicopters going by. Where is he? Where is he? There he is, Blackhawks. Two of them. Dun, 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 dun. A very, very common sight in Washington, D.C. Hey, Blackhawks ferrying military personnel between bases and over to the Pentagon and the CIA, NSA. Kind of a normal day. So I'm actually really tempted to get a bike because I'm in a hurry later. Later I got to get back home and take my kid to the school. But I think I got about a half hour of free time. Ah, red light, red light. Let's go this way. Yeah, the buildings are set back pretty big. This is the this is the downtown area of Washington DC. This is where all the lobbyists and lawyers and trade associations are located. Media, the CBS is back behind me, ABC is up in front of me. Down to the right is the World Bank group. They've got a section that George Washington University is down there as well, occupying a large section of town. Hey, Pablo, how you doing? Bonjour, bonsoir, Paris, for France. Welcome to Washington, D.C. We're just a couple blocks from the White House. We're going to go take a look because we were told something happened to the fountains today. Oh, oh, one, two, park police. We've had a lot of police activity today. Those are park police police cars. I'm not sure why they're rolling up in this area. There's no parks up here. <laughs> 
unless some homeless people started to fight in like DuPont Circle or something. I don't know if I have time for a green beer today. All right, so the next block will be Connecticut. Connecticut will take us right to the White House. Terrorists are planning to kill the President of the United States. My name is Jack Bauer. I have 24 hours to stop them. I can't even remember how that started, but that's how it sounded, right? <laughs> there we go. Hey. Ah. Salt Lake. Yeah, we're going to go visit the White House. We won't be able to see much because the fence is still up, which is really quite, quite annoying. We've been waiting for that fence to come down. And we're hopeful. It did sound like 24, didn't it? Then uh, Jack Bauer kind of signs. Yeah. Not to brag, but I used to look like Jack Bauer. And when I went into China, I actually got stopped at customs. They're like, you, you're Jack Bauer. I'm like, uh, no. And sorry about season three. <laughs> Whichever episode had the Chinese as the enemy. <laughs> I got that a lot. It's interesting, my father actually looks a little bit like Donald Sutherland. And I looked a little like Kiefer Sutherland. Strange. Yeah, Periscope is going away soon. Uh, so you see this park straight ahead at the red light? I gotta go through the park and then one more block and then we'll be at the White House Lafayette Square. And I'll probably go a half a block over to the left so you get a better view. So a couple minutes, a couple minutes, depending on the night. I watched the last 24, the one that was in London, was that called Redemption? I can't remember. More helicopters over. Hey guys, we're at the White House. We made it. And sure enough, green. The fountains have been turned green for St. Patrick's Day at the White House. The president made a call to his, uh, his counterpart in Ireland today, as is normal. The American president always calls the president of Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. And there's a protest going on here. Let me see if I can show you this protest. This is a Indian anti, anti-farm reform bill, I believe, which is going on in India. A couple of snipers on the roof. So yeah, there's a sniper up on the left. Spotter or whatever they call it. And there's your green fountain. Or St. Patrick's Day. So I'm out filming a video about, you know, the Irish Embassy and all that on St. Patrick's Day. And I walk past the Vice President's house and there are a lot of police cars. And I mean, not just DC, but Secret Service and cars to be named later. I don't even know who they belong to. One man was in custody. Come to find out, he's a suspicious character who was detained. Police are searching for another car, possible bombs and other weapons involved. So let me uh, run home as fast as I can and get this video up so you guys can see what I saw. So I ended up putting up this video. It went viral. I've been on the phone or texting with CNN, CBS, Daily Mail, Sun, Reuters. It, 
everybody. Literally, my phone has been nonstop chaos as I've been dealing with press inquiries because I have the only video of this man in Washington, D.C. being detained. Uh, needless to say, this video went pretty much around the world. So last night, the media came actually over to interview me. Uh, so I did a stand-up interview out on the streets late at night with the local news crew and then spent the rest of the evening uh, chatting with news guys over Twitter and SMS and phone calls most of the night. Quite a bit crazy. But uh, anyway, that was my day. Hope you guys are having better. Today is actually rain and cold and there's not much going on. So I'm doing my taxes. <laughs> yeah, actually, I am doing my taxes and all the other paperwork that goes with uh, being a human. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, I appreciate it. Subscribe, like, and comment, and let me know what else you want to see. We're going to still be out on the streets. We're still covering what's going on in Washington with the main idea, show, not tell. So I'll continue to show you what I see in Washington, D.C. Maybe slip in a little history now and then. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.